Hey everyone, this is Board Game Brody. I have Parks here. I just wanted to show you how to set this up, how to play it real quick. I usually do some editing in my video, so this video I'm just going to go at it without editing much and just kind of show you if you just got your game, how to set it up, how to play it. Um, I do have the mat here that you might not have. It is beautiful, but I'm going to be using it, and I will show you, let's see if I can get this so you can see it, how you can use it or the board. So, well, I'll move the camera around to kind of zoom into things later. So, to set up here, you're going to take your game trays, and these go on the side here. I'm going to take the lids off there. This is the board if you don't have the mat, which, as you can see, matches right there. You will just use your own space here on the bottom for the trail. There we go. So these are the park cards. These are cards that have certain resources that you need to gather to pay for it and the number of points that is for each of these. These all represent <clears throat> one of the national parks here in the United States. And the art was um, already done before. The art was done by the 59 Parks print series and they teamed up with Keymaster Games to bring this together. All right, so we have the park cards. You'll, those will be shuffled, and you're gonna flip out three of those cards. Next, you're gonna put the gear cards out. These are the gear cards. Make sure they're not with anything else, okay? These have already been shuffled, but you'd shuffle those, and you're gonna put one out of each of them randomly of those these are the next one we'll split these those are the season cards these are the canteen those are the events which is the solo mode let's see what am i missing the year cards oh these are the year cards and these are the canteen okay so canteens will be shuffled and each player will get one of these, so I'm gonna play with a two-player make to show you how to play game. So I'll flip these out. When this uh, card is used, I can put a water on here and exchange, I'm gonna get a mountain token. The other player gets two sun when they use theirs. So everyone can see those. The rest are gonna go right there. Each player will randomly be dealt out two year cards, which are in-game scoring. And the rest I'm just going to put there on the edge. And these are the season cards. You can see there's plenty. You're only going to use four of these in the game. So when you play again and again, you can have a lot more variety. I'm going to flip the top open. It's going to give you an effect. So now... You get to gain a sun any time that you gain a tree token on your turn. It also is going to help us with our weather pattern of how we're going to set up some tokens uh, for that season. All right, we're going to get our hikers. We're going to play with pink and green for our playthrough two-player game. We'll just put them there for now. We're going to take the camera. We're going to take... The trail tiles. This is the trail head, which will start right there. And this is the trail end tile. There is a solo side, so make sure you're not on the solo side if you're not playing solo. We need our campfire tokens. So what I say, green and pink, perfect. We'll have green and pink over there. And then our starting player. So the starting player is who last visited a park. We'll give it to green. And then the player to their right gets the camera. 
and I'll explain that here in a little bit. So stuff we're not using, this just goes uh, more players. This is campfire tokens for the other players and these event cards is for the solo mode. Our tokens here, we have water, trees, sun, mountain, and wildlife. Wildlife is wild for any of the other four. These are picture tokens. They all have different pictures on them, as you can see, but they're, it doesn't matter because they're all worth a point at the end. It doesn't matter what picture's on there. And we will put our hikers here on our trailhead. And to set up, we're gonna separate these. If they have an asterisk on them, it's the advanced tiles. This is the waterfall, which is used in a four plus. So four or five players, so we don't. So we're gonna put that one away. And then these are our basic tiles that we're gonna use every single season and we're gonna start with. So then we're gonna take these four. So we have four seasons in the game. We're gonna add one of these each time. So these are gonna be shuffled up and we're randomly gonna put one to start. These others I'm just gonna put over here. I'm gonna take this tile. We're gonna shuffle them up with all the other basic tiles. And then randomly we're gonna set up the trail. Start with some sun, tree, take pictures, mountain, water. Okay, there we go. Players are gonna choose which one of these year cards. These are the year cards that you get two of to start with. So here, at the end of the game, uh, they wanna have uh, seven sun worth of gear. So these this player's going after a lot of gear to get his extra points. And this is visiting parks with trees. So I'm gonna have him go after the parks with trees. So he's gonna do that one. I'm just gonna keep this face up so when I move the camera and you see it face up, normally it's gonna be face down. The other player here, they have a similar, so parks with mountains though. And then this one is water on visited parks. So each park up here that has a water on it, you'd count that and take either three pictures or five. And I'm gonna do this one here because it's a little different. All right, so now to finish setting up, you'll see in this season, I already told you the effect, but you see the weather pattern right here is sun, sun, water. So beginning with the second tile, you're gonna set out additional tokens. It goes sun, sun, water, and then sun, sun, water, but it doesn't go on the end. So that's the additional tokens that we're gonna place on there. And we got everything set up. So again, your canteens, anytime you gain a water token from any of these, you can place it on here and gain whatever it shows here. So two sun here, this player has a mountain. All right, so when playing, sorry, it's gonna be a little shaky because I'm gonna be holding the camera, but you're gonna decide uh, already who goes first and that player is gonna take one of their hikers and move it to an unoccupied spot to the right. So it can be occupied, but I will explain that here in a little bit. So this hiker over here, let's see, they're trying to get water in their parks. Well, they know that the effect this time is when they get a tree, they're gonna get a sun. So they're gonna go and get this tree so they get a the free token that's on here. They get the tree from the uh, action that's on there. And then because of the effect, they actually get another sun. So that was a pretty decent move and that's why he moved there. The next player now, um, you know, has to move to the right and they're not wanting to go right there yet. I will get there soon as I play, but they're just gonna go here and take two, two sun. All right, back to the green player. 
the green player now can still move either of their hikers and they don't have the camera but if they move in there they could take it but they are also blocking the other player from taking that action so they're going to keep this here to block the other player because when they move into this spot they will have to use their campfire and flip it over and then they can't occupy a spot that anyone else is at until they come here to the entrail and at that time if one of their hiker does this gets flipped back so green's gonna stay so that if pink wants to hop here they have to use their campfire and he's gonna take this one and he's gonna come and take that action he gets the sun and he can either get a canteen card up here or take a picture he doesn't have the camera so it would cost two of these resources and then if you did that he would take this camera and have it and then in the future if you do have the camera then it'll only cost one resource to take a picture He's gonna take a canteen card. He's gonna try to see what he's got. So in this case, it does, he can trade two of any resources for two of any other resources, not including the wildlife tokens. All right, so it's Pink's turn now, and they have the camera. They wanna take this action, and they also wanna take this action. And it doesn't really matter which one they move because they're both behind. So to open up this space for this guy, he's, they're going to move this one. And eventually green's going to have to move out of one of those. And so pink's just going to skip over here so they can get this water, which they are going to use to get a mountain plus another mountain. So two mountains. There they go. All right, green's turn. Green doesn't know which one they want to stay behind. They think they're going to move this one to, in hopes that this green guy can take this guy's spot. So they're going to come here, take this sun, take two water. Now at this time they can do these actions and they will, so one water, He's gonna exchange two of something, so he's got a lot of sun here. Two sun for, let's see, what does he want? Let's see what's out here. A lot of trees and some mountains. So he's gonna do two trees, and he's also gonna do two trees because anytime during this turn when he gains a tree, he also gains a sun. So that's a good combination that he did. And he's debating if he wants two more sun by filling this canteen, which would give him no water, which only one of those need water. So he's gonna do that, get two more sun. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. The most you can have is 12. All right, so now pink is gonna go. Pink sees that that's freed up, but does Pink want this one? All right, so Pink decides they're gonna come here, take this, and they're gonna do the same thing that the other player did by taking two sun to get, what do they want, two trees? And again, by the effect of the season, they get a sun because they collected a tree. All right, green. What does green want to do? They're going to come here, and they're going to actually take a picture. They're going to spend two sun. They get the camera, and they get to take a picture. So remember in their goal, they need to take a couple pictures. And so that's one, two, the hopefully five that they can get. All right. 
Now it is Red's turn. No one has taken advantage of their campfire yet. And so they don't want to get this guy back here without doing that. But they actually, does he want to go to two of these? Or straight here. He's going to go straight here. He's going to get tree plus one sun. All right, green, what are you going to do? He's going to do that and use his campfire and he's going to exchange two sun and he's going to get, I think he's going to go for trees because there's a lot of trees out there. Maybe he'll get a tree and a mountain. That's what we'll do. He'll get a tree and a mountain, and because he got a tree, he gets a sun. So four, five, six, seven. Okay. Red is going next, and they haven't used theirs either. Oh, they should have taken a picture while they had a chance. He's going to go here. And he also, I think, wants a canteen card. He doesn't have a camera to do that. So, all right, awesome. He likes that one, and he wants to use it during this season because of the season effect. So, hopefully he can get some water to do so. Back to green. Green is ready to be the first one here. Now, do they want any of these gear cards? Let's see. You can gain a wildlife, a wild instead of a mountain during at the mountain area. So their guy is still in here. So if he gets that, he could take advantage of that. Uh, you may take a picture when you visit the mountain. So both of them affected the mountain, and this one is the same thing but when the, with the forest. So those are all about taking pictures, wide lens, wide angle lens, and some binoculars. Or do they get one of these parks? He is the first, so if he visits a park, he'll just pay and get one of the cards. Since it, he is the first to buy gear, he gets a one sun discount. If there's four or more players, there are two of these spaces to get the one sun discount. So he really could take this card for free or just pay one sun for that. And that would let his other hiker come in and visit one of the parks with all these tokens. So I think I'm gonna do that. He's gonna come, he's gonna get the one sun and he's gonna go for, because the, his other hiker already passed the forest and he has the camera, he's gonna pay one sun to get the wide angle lens for the mountain area. So a new card comes out for the others. This is a trail map. So all the parks cost one sun left, less. So for this, you'd only have to pay two if you had that card. All right. Red is going to go, and they still have their campfire. But they know that green wants to go there. So they're going to go there and take a mountain. Oh, and then green did actually get to the end here. So they get to flip that over. So I guess... It's going to make them use it, but at least it does that. So back to green. Green does want to use it. So what am I doing? Oh, flipping this. Okay. They get a mountain. And when they visit the mountain, they may pay two. When they visit the mountain, they have the camera, of course. The camera here is whenever you take a photo, it only costs one. So these are the higher end. Oh, they kind of want this, but they're going to take another photo with it so that they have two. 
All right, green. Red, pink's turn. Pink says, we know their fire is out. If we take those waters, they'll have to go straight home. Let's do it. Two waters, oh, and what do you know? Let's use one of our waters to get a tree. And remember, if we get a tree, we also get a sun. Oh, they're getting, they're at their limit. Four, eight, 12. They are at their limit. So now it's Green's turn. Green is gonna have to come here and he'll visit a park. So he can visit either the Great Smoky Mountains National Park or the Sequoia National Park. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're going to, they want, they want water in their parks and they don't have any water and they don't, so it doesn't really matter. So since this will kind of change things so they have one of each, they will get that one, four points plus two, so they're at six points. New card comes out. All right. Pink's gotta decide how they're gonna do this. Once one hiker's left, they automatically have to go in there. So if they do this, they haven't used that the whole time. They still have two and they can exchange two for two. Now it won't necessarily matter to get the extra sun because they're already at their point. So they're gonna look up here and see what they want. They want parks with trees. So they're probably gonna get those four trees. So maybe they'll take two of these suns. They'll take two of those suns and get trees so they have some trees after they get that one. All right, green's turn, but they're already gone, so now they're gonna come in here. He's gonna pay four trees to get this card. And there's a lower one, two point card. It came out. How would you like to be kayaking in that? That'd be pretty sweet. All right, and then they have to bring their other guy in. Let's see. Oh, they're one water short of that one, but they can get this one if they would like, or they can get some gear. They're not gonna get the discount. If they reserve it, they could take the first player marker token from them, but I think they're gonna come and visit this park, two mountains. Two sun. Four, five, six, seven. And they got four, five, six. So pretty tight still. There's the new one. All right, so all hikers are on the trail end. And so now we are gonna reset this. We are first gonna take all these waters from their canteens and put them back. They're spent. Um, they both made it back so they both can flip those back over. All the hikers are gonna go to the beginning here and I'm not gonna show you every single round but pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these so we can set this up randomly and we are gonna take of these three we're gonna take one to shuffle there we go then we're gonna randomly place them out again I don't think we've seen the new one yet Oh, there it is. 
So with this new tile, you can pay any one resource to get a, a wildlife random resource. So it just makes it a little flexible to uh, pay for some of these resources when you need to. Um, you are then going to get rid of this season card to get a new one. So now you get a sun for when you gain a mountain. And then we're going to look at our weather pattern. It's water, sun, sun. So starting with the second tile, water, sun, sun, water, sun, sun. All right, so we're all set up for the second round. And we'd look to see who has the first player token. Remember, you can take this reserve a park action to take it. But that wasn't taken, so this green player is still the first player, and they would start again. They keep all their resources. They just discard the waters that they put in their canteens. So you will be playing four seasons, going down, gaining more cards, and... Let me show you what these other tiles are. So this one is you may pay a water to take an action that of one of the sites that another hiker is on. So they have to physically be on there to take it. So at the beginning, it wouldn't be too good until some hikers got down trail, but then you could pay a water and you know take any of the action that they're on, which can be very, very lovely. And then this one, probably my favorite, I like getting it like second season or something because it lets you do more park actions so you can take more parks when you need to, you can buy more gear when you want to, or reserve a park and take the first player token when you want to. And so that's what that token does. Let's look at some other seasons that kind of change things up. That one's very similar, you get a resource for that. Ooh, look at this one's different. Add water on the three current parks. So we'd put a water on each of these. So when you take uh, visited a park, you got a free water. Parks cost one less water to visit. So that would make it a little discount during that season to visit the park. And so those are the season cards that will help you with the effects each round. Let's look at more gear. This one is parks cost uh, one less uh, tree to visit. So they're kind of given discounts. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's the water bottle. So straight from the, the beginning, um, you can place a, a water token from out here straight onto your canteen to get the benefit. And then uh, when you fill, um, it, when you visit the forest, then you can do that again. So anytime you you also visit here, so you'll take this, you'll take your tree, you'll then also take another one of these and fill up your canteen for free, not using the one you took, taking an extra one, and taking that action, which hopefully will combo into one of the season effects, and that's why the turns are so awesome with these combos. And, you know, you know your combos, so use these actions here. You know, when you copy another area, use those so you can have some great combos. Also, when you exchange your resources, know that if you have certain cards that give you perks or the season effect, make sure you pay attention to those so you can get all the resources that you can. At the end of the game, you're going to count all your park cards and count up all the numbers of those. You're gonna count all your pictures. They're all worth one point. And then you are gonna show your, so this would be flipped down. You're gonna show this card. Hopefully you did that. Let's see, how many do we have? This is just an example, but uh, four, five, six, seven. So I should have worked harder and got another one to get three more points, but I have seven, so I'll take the two points. And then the player with the uh, player start player token, they will get an extra point as well. So the person at the end of the four seasons with the most points will win the game.
I just wanted to show you a little unedited video real quick of how to play and uh, a sample round of me playing in a two player. Of course, when you have more players, it's a little more crazy on the trail. Uh, but again, you'll just be using these campfire tokens more strategically on how you want to do that. Um, also, my review video and my how to play will be coming out soon, and that will uh, be a little bit more crisp and edited to show you exactly uh, what the game is like and how it is, and my thoughts on the game as well that I'm not going to include in this video. But I hope you really enjoy this game. Again, this is Parks by Keymaster Games. If you like what you see, then go buy it.